Rock, who, who's going to throw? As they get into the opening exchanges here, the feeling out process. Takahashi has been so impressive through this whole tournament. Uh, he was kind of an unknown. He's made world teams. He's uh, been a part of the world championships, but he really made huge strides in this event and impressed uh, me. One thing about Thomas Gilman is he's going to be constantly on the offense. And Takahashi did a, a, a fine job of defending that shot and then counterattacking, pushing uh, Gilman out of bounds. And Gilman fleed the hold. They gave a caution in two. If you get three cautions, the match is over. You're, you can get two cautions. Every caution, you're going to get two points for your opponent. Very rarely. I, I, didn't, I didn't see any of this for this entire week. But... Uh, Gilman is going to stay on the offense, but when he gets to his offense, he's going to have to finish fast. And, he, and if he's coming up off the offense after being defended, he's going to need to circle because Takahashi is quick to the punch on the counter. Blue, you attention? He's got that quick lead, has Takahashi. A little yellow card hanging against Gilman. As you see, for three of those, it could be all over, but that's not likely. He can Thomas Gilman find his way back in here? Tries to shoot forward, has some type of hold. Takashi trying to defend, Gilman trying to stand. Action. The tangle of limbs here in the center of the mat. Halfway through the opening period. Very smart. And Terry Brands, Terry Brands getting in Thomas Gilman's head saying, hey, that's a great offensive shot, you stay offensive. Takahashi was able to get Gilman extended, and so instead of looking to score that, he, he waited for the break in the actions to bring him back up. He slips off to the side there, does Gilman. Gives Takahashi something to think about. A show of strength from both men here at the scoreboard showing the slight advantage to the man in blue. Lots of time left in this one. Gilman circling again. Tries for the underhook. Takahashi, good elusive movement. Beautiful limp arm by Takahashi getting out of the underhook of Gilman. Gilman is an offensive machine. He's just going to stay in your face, keep using his hands, keep pushing your head down, keep trying to, uh, he's going to keep trying to clear ties. And Terry Brains in the corner is going to keep on telling him, keep being offensive. But right there, if you notice, Takahashi just beat him to the corner and was able to pick his foot and get to the single leg and Gilman was already back on his heel and not able to uh, to, to defend the counterattack. Yep, into that last 30 seconds. The great counterattack from Takahashi. Well, that's often the case. If you're predictable, if you're constantly attacking, Takahashi taking advantage of that. Gilman's tenacity and desire going against him on a couple of occasions here. So the Japanese team obviously have done their research. Maybe there was a reason they didn't want to compete in that event in New York. More than happy to study the tape and learn from it. But in terms of the clock ticking down here on the opening period, not an insurmountable lead for Gilman, but Takahashi, and he's most certainly in the driving seat here. Lots of work for Team USA to do in the corner here. And Gilman had an amazing uh, kind of way to get to here. He had to wrestle in the uh, kind of last chance qualifier to get to our World Team Trials. And he won the last chance qualifier to get to the World Team Trials. He was seated ninth going into our World Team Trials and wrestled his way into the finals. He has had, an, uh, really, he's kind of been the unknown, just a college graduate uh, from the University of Iowa. So one thing I do know about him is his tenacity. He's going to keep coming in this second period and, and try and, and pick a point, pick it apart. Can he find a way back into this one? Yuki Takahashi has plenty to say about it and a four-point cushion upon which to rest. But as Brian Hazel says, he will not have much time to rest against the young American. His conditioning and desire evident. But it's been the smarts of Takahashi at the moment, just making a minor difference. No change in approach, though, from Gilman. Circling, looking for options. The referee having a good look at him as well. Stop. Ring. Please, okay? 
Oh, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You go on the front foot, Takahashi grabs it. You go on the back foot, the referee tells you to get on with it. I've been so impressed with Takahashi throughout this tournament. He has, this is his coming out party where he's, he's really showing off his technique and, and his desire, but also just those counter attacks. That sprawl, Gilman on 99% of athletes is gonna score there. And instead that sprawl, he went right to his belly, not able to get his knees underneath of him and not able to put pressure coming up. Coming up with the goods again, Takahashi. Four minutes or so gone here, four point gap. Yuki Takahashi, an imperious form. Gilman, well he's put a lot into this. How much energy has he got left? Yeah, a little bit too much here combing there. Red, okay, blue, come. This and this, both, okay? Please, come, okay? Well, the handshake after the head shave. And right back to the exactly. head snaps. Right back to those head snaps by Gilman. Shoots for the legs this time. Takahashi, well, he's gone again. Top quality, Yuki Takahashi. Whether you know wrestling or whether you don't, you can see for yourself. Elusive to the end. And we are approaching the last minute as Takahashi sneaks round again. Good defence this time from Gilman. Grabs the leg. Hanging on for dear life in this one. Yeah, Gilman at this point, maybe a little over aggressive, but he's trying to score and doing anything he can to score. And the referee separates them, as you say. It's hard to fight your nature when your nature's taking you so far. Gilman goes back to basics. Takahashi shows some strength. Can Gilman stand? Well, no questioning the desire of both men here. You want to know about world-class wrestling? Look at the effort from both. Takahashi on his knees. Gilman on his back. He gave two to Takahashi there. Very close to a feet to back for Gilman. But Takahashi able to wiggle his, round, uh, his body around and get two points. Well, what a final this has been. So close to points for Gilman there, not only on the, on the shot. He popped up through the middle, tried to take Takahashi to his back for a big four-point move. Loved his action. Takahashi uh, just has his number right now. He does, and he's going to add... Well, I thought he was going to add another number of points there, but the only number that matters is the clock in the corner. And Yuki Takahashi, composed, imperious, and a bow of respect to his coach as well. Mirrored by the applause. Thomas Gilman, top class. He will learn plenty from this. Well, the 23-year-old from the US. But the same age, but a different score. Takahashi, top of the world. And you get the feeling that if they wrestled again tomorrow, it'd be difficult for Gilman to do anything different. It would. Takahashi was 